out. He has taken 18 NFL snaps, but he's never thrown a pass in the NFL, and that continues here as he heard from a lot of people that you've got Peyton Manning in the house today as well, so no pressure. Sam Hellinger rolling out and since December 29th of 2020 when he was at Texas in the Alamo Bowl, and now he's going to try to go back to the air, but he's under pressure. Hit as he released. Or excuse me, first in the league last year in rushing, but struggling to get going this season. Quick strike to the outside. Another empty backfield on third down at five for Ellinger. Under duress, throws to Flux. Colts so far, two, three and outs. Try to get that ground game going. Frank said it was the hardest professional conversation he's ever had when he told Matt Ryan he was not starting today. On third and four. Ellinger pressure. Drops it off underneath, gets the first down, Michael Pittman. Well, it doesn't look like much, but you can see Sam Ellinger here. We talked in the open about the way that Matt Ryan had been the catch. And the week prior to last, seven catches for Campbell. He's been in his zone. Here's Taylor breaking free. Hines is in. Hines gets the carry. And he's brought down around the original line of scrimmage by Jonathan Allen. It is such a good defensive front. So many times they can get pressure without blitzing. In fact, they did not blitz Aaron Rodgers one time last week. Pressure here and surprise snap. See the guys on the outside, they barely move once the ball is snapped on this one. And then can return week 11. As Ellinger completes it to Kylan Gray. Now from the 40. Ellinger. A couple of weeks with William Jackson out. Now the Colts will try on the ground on second and ten, but just not much there. With this defensive line, I mean, you know, not just power guys, just so agile. Jonathan Allen and Deron Payne in particular, you know, those interior guys, when they can put spin moves on cards, they move them around a lot. But that move package can be so difficult for linemen to try and get those guys blocked. Jonathan Taylor, by the way, currently in the injury tent, I'm told, as Ellinger sends it downfield. As Taylor scares him. Yeah, Jack Del Rio said we need to stop number 28. Watch him knows this is that his quickness allows him to get to places that other backs go heavy, but now feels much better at 220 and a lot more elusive. Woo! Look at that. Deion Jackson just got swallowed up in the backfield by Jonathan Allen. Loss of five. Coming off his first Pro Bowl campaign a season ago. This is Jonathan Allen lined up over Quentin Nelson. Just a Nelson and just a quick little swim move right there. That lateral quickness. We talked about that earlier. Both him and Deron Payne. So difficult for offensive linemen to stay on those guys and even get on those guys. Didn't have a chance there. Of course, he and Payne, former Alabama teammates, now Washington Commander teammates. So second and 14. Ellinger again in trouble, and he's going down. He lost the ball. This had been an issue for Matt Ryan fumbling the football, and now Ellinger coughs it up at his first career start, and Washington recovers it. Protect the football. He steps up there, didn't put it away. Commanders get a turnover. There's nowhere to go. We'll see if that play becomes big as the game progresses. Ellinger taking off. He's got Taylor as a block. Ran for 1,900 yards in his time in Texas, in addition to 33 rushing touchdowns. Handing a little season record book. And now Ellinger's going to keep blocking on the end. point of contention because Kylan also doesn't have an NFL touchdown. Ellinger trying to get his first. Down there. <laughs> Second down and 10. Ellinger, and he's scary. He's had a different starter every season. Now two this year. Ellinger. What a weren't impressed with Sam Ellinger's arm, and people would say that that's players. That's how well he knew it. Taylor searching for space, but there is none. He should now. They're going to run it again. Taylor off the right side. Thought if things didn't go right with Ryan, it would be Foles, but it's Ellinger. The guy the rest of the way, and he's taking a deep shot here, and he's got Pierce. Ellinger. 
fakes the handoff and then finds Pierce there. So if defense builds you out, go back in and make a play. Gallagher escapes from the pocket, takes off. He's got the first down and more. Nobody was out there. He's still got that grasp. Don't let go. So now second and 11, getting Woo! the screen to Paris Campbell, and Campbell does the rest. Those are the two fumbles. But they're knocking on the door right here. Ellinger lost it down the sideline. Oh, the gun on an empty set. Going to try to run it in. But Washington says no. So now third and goal. Ellinger hands it off. Taylor is wrapped up in the backfield. Former linebackers, so you know that you're going to be here, and if you're not playing the position the right way, and Jack Del Rio talked about the way that Jamin Day Deception off the edge, getting the disruption. It fell into Leonard's hands, and now the Colts start out this short field with... So he's only played a half a football before today, and then he gets the interception. Second and 12. Ellinger, a little Houdini act. Going to be on Nelson. Offense, number 56. Yep. It's a 10-yard penalty. Replay second down. Boy, and it's a shame because Sam Ellinger has such a developed sense inside of the pocket. He feels this pressure and steps up. But you can see Nelson kind of gets those hands wrapped around, and there it is again. We see it time and time again. And this is Jonathan Allen, who he's locked up with. As soon as Ellinger escapes, Jonathan Allen goes to try and make the play. Nelson still's got a, still has a grab, and that flag's going to be thrown every time. Nelson, the highest-paid guard in the NFL, four-year, $80 million extension back on September 10th. Second down at 22, Ellinger down the sideline. So now the ball down at the six-yard line. Going to hand it to Hines around the corner, and there's Inver's and Carson Wentz and Matt Ryan. Now it's Ellinger trying to get to 1-0 and in his young career as a starter. Here he turns around. Another run for Taylor. Jen's got more on Sam Ellinger. Here, Patrick Mahomes sent him a nice text early in the week. A lot of good advice he's received here ahead of his first start. Now he's going to turn a possible lateral, maybe several. What well, we saw with the Packers last week against the command. Absolutely, but Ellinger just has to flip it. He does get it to Pittman, but Pittman is taken down. And the commanders and Taylor Heineke come from behind. They've won three in a row, and they get back to 500.